Hi guys, just wanted to let you know you don't have to watch the movie in order to listen to the show. There won't be any spoilers because they haven't seen the movie. All they've done is watch the trailer, which is all you have to do. Or don't, doesn't matter. You can still listen and laugh. <laughs> okay, that's all. Enjoy the show. Are you listening? <laughs> Welcome to the Real and Real Pie. My name is David and I'm here with my co-host, Marseille. Hello. Have you ever watched a movie and thought to yourself, hey, what if this happened in real life? That's what this show is about. Yep, and then we come up with a few points to discuss a question. And the question is, what if the Joker was real? Based off the movie, Joker. You don't listen, do you? You just ask the same questions every week. How's your job? Are you having any negative thoughts? All I have are negative thoughts. Failed comedian Arthur Fleck encounters violent thugs while wandering the streets of Gotham City dressed as a clown. Disregarded by society, Fleck begins a slow descent into madness as he transforms into the criminal mastermind known as the Joker. Do you want to see this movie? I do. Oh. Yes, it looks interesting. I'm here for the premise. I'm here for the backstory. Not so much the backstory. I'm just here for how this has been done and everything and how it's not like overtly obvious like i'm the master crazy guy like it just it doesn't seem like that in the trailer i may be completely wrong but that's what it seems like to me what about you do you want to see this i really want to see this this was one of my most anticipated movies of the year since i saw the trailer I am so hyped for this film. I've heard good things. I hope it lives up to those good things. I really like Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin. And Zachy Beats. Uh, she's gorgeous. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I love those two. Also, I just found out I did not know that um, Mark Maron was in this. He's, he's really good in everything he's in. Uh, he was He is in Glow. He's the, the director of Glow. Mm, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, I really like him. But yeah, I am really looking forward to this movie. I like the the angle they're going for making a more character piece old school instead of this giant big blockbuster blowing up stuff so yeah i'm really looking forward to this one so um yeah let's go on to the episode moss your date so moss your date <laughs> what's your first point if the joker was real my first point is that there's extreme beauty restrictions why marcy why because the joker he's wearing makeup and mm-hmm. he has hair color and he's changing himself so you can't recognize who he is Mm -hmm. so i'm not saying that we're banning makeup or banning hair color but we're doing extremely restricted so it's all natural colors it has to be the color that you were born with you can't do um maybelline yes maybe it's maybelline (laughs) you know what that's a good slogan for them now because it'll be great since everything is so restricted maybe she's born with it maybe it's maybelline you never know anyway it's technically their slogan now either way bottom line i it's so if you have brown hair and you're like i want to see what i look like in blonde no you're not doing it rebecca sit down you can't do it so only the hair color you were born with Mm -hmm. what if your hair color is red like you were a strange child not red like gingers i mean like fully red then that is what you go with you can't tone it down oh that is your hair i would hope you would turn no You can't tone it down. You can't change it. You were just a fire engine red child now. That is your life. Okay, okay. Okay, so I'm going to add on to that. Yes. Because my point was all clown masks slash makeup would be illegal and any reference to clowns. So, yes, makeup would be illegal, but specifically, yes, clown makeup. But I think some people, unfortunately... They don't mean to, but they go overboard with the makeup mm-hmm. and they look like clowns. Yes. It's not their intention. to match your shade, Karen. But, but uh, yeah, they go a little bit overboard. And it's like, hey, just tone it down. Bring it back. Your your face isn't matching the rest of your skin. to your neck, yes. Karen. So it seems like, which is odd to me because you see your face. Like, I understand if you are wearing like a jacket mm-hmm. or long sleeves and most of your turtleneck. All that's covered up, and the, I only see your face and your hands. So it can be any shade you want it to be necessarily. But when you're wearing like a low cut strap shirt, right? Right. I see all of your face. I mean, all of your, most of your, not all of your body. Your skin. I, I see, see your, your skin. a lot of your skin, and then your face is this weird bronzy, golden looking thing, and the rest of your body is more toned. You know, like a true tone of your actual body. That's what it is. So it's 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 a contrast. It throws me off. I don't know why people do that. 
what kills me is when I see the people that do like overly pink or overly like an overly saturated color or it's like just like four sh- not four it's 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 way too light and their body's too dark or vice versa their it's too dark for their face and their body's too light that yeah. just the bronziness I can deal with that because it's just like you just bronzed your skin you're like ooh sun kissed ooh like you just came she back from like vacation she looked like she was glowing oh she went overboard with highlighter yes because yes. <laughs> even then you're if you go overboard like on your face radiation. you're supposed to if you go overboard with your face, you're supposed to supposed on, to you're supposed, supposed to put English. it on your <laughs> on your neck as well. On your, you're supposed to put it on your. <laughs> I can't say the word. Supposed to put it on your neck. You're suppo- you are supposed supposed <laughs> supposed to. Where are you from? I don't know. What happened to you? <laughs> what laboratory did they break you out of? And you're like, they messed up my speech function. <laughs> Certain words are going to be from different dialects. <laughs> Just enjoy. But yeah, you're supposed to put <laughs> it on your neck. I can't that's say all, it. Yeah, it. It's got to it. go on your collarbones. Yeah. So you can highlight them things. Let them be glowy and fabulous too. You can't just I don't let like your face it. It's be creepy. It. Yeah, a little bit. It looks like radiation. It looks what? like you're radiating. That's a problem. Like there's some that you can do and it be nice, but just not your whole face. It's weird. It's yeah. like your face is oily and wet. Like it's wet. That's what it is. That's, Your face yeah, looks that's wet. Yeah, that's glossy look. Oh, 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 oh. It looks like a porcelain doll, Like, but the material of a porcelain doll. Like glad, that whatever that is. Is it glass? Ceramic? Whatever that Ceramic. is. Ceramic. Yeah, it looks just like it's that. It's porcelain. Yeah. I hate it. Mm. I also. Hate I mean, dolls, but do you? You love that. yourself, but I'm just saying it's weird because it 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 doesn't match. If it matched, I probably wouldn't care. But it all doesn't match. It so if they just brought it down and they highlighted other things, yeah, and it maybe like, like from okay, head to toe and you're yeah. like, okay, I see your sparkles. That's your tone. Okay, cool. But, but if no. it was just like you only did your face and everything else is dull and dry, yes. it was sad okay. because she was very pretty, but she had a just. She looked like she just dunked her face. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So crazy. she was looking like a donut. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit <laughs> like a donut. A little bit like a donut. Ah, uh, okay, yes, okay. Yes. Mm, mm. Anyway, what's your second point? My second point ties into your first point because my... Well, my first point ties into your first point. Oh, look at this. Is this going to be a point of... Connected uh, points? Uh, connected points episode. So my second point is that there are no more masks. Not just clown masks, but masks, period. Goodbye, JFK. Goodbye. That seems to be the one that they wear a lot. JFK, right? JFK, Trump, and Hillary. Yes. Those three. And then Obama started, and then Obama pop up, started, pop started up. popping up. But yeah, those seem to be the main men. I don't mm-hmm. know why, especially in bank heist. What's up with that? Like, what is this? Why presidents? <laughs> is it like a, you're trying to be like a play on we're stealing money with presidents on them and we're wearing, so we're president, wearing faces. president faces? But in a sense, wouldn't you wear the president's faces who are actually on the money, not just random presidents? I've never seen a Lincoln one, ever. Never seen Lincoln. But I would love to see I've some seen... rob a bank with a top hat. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> and they probably wouldn't suspect it either. They'd come in, they just have the top hat. Like, depending on the bank. Depending they on the won't bank. make you take off your hat. Mm-hmm. They wouldn't let you come in with a hat on. No, they'd make you check it. Just be like, eh, see. <laughs> <laughs> they just make you check it like, ah, uh, no, sir. Tip, you and you just tip your hat. Sir, lift your hat up, please. And then you do, but like you're holding it so tight that the gun doesn't fall out. And you're just like, you got to crush it. No, 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 no. You just squeeze it slightly. You just squeeze it slightly. How is this gun placed up there? You just get, why don't why? you have a false top? That would make more sense. Yes. Then that, if your arms are, depending on how tall your hat is and how big your gun is and your arm length. You're only you going to fit a <laughs> nine mil or smaller into that. Mm. Like it's going to be like a 22 something tiny to fit into that hat. True, true. You know what? See, I'd have an issue with it because I have short arms, so I couldn't really. Well, you're only going to grab the bottom half of it. You put, like, ridges in it so it it stays, like, like bar, like, uh, you know, things to make the hat stay up. Oh, so it stays firm? Yeah, so it stays firm. If you grab the little, like, in the middle, it's going to crumple. <laughs> Either way, you can walk in and just have your monocle going on, your nice and fancy suit, and your tat. What are you, the peanut and man? <laughs> <laughs> you got your little pimp king and you're like, Some of the morning to you come. No. <laughs> and then you just They're gonna be in. like, Sir, come with me. They're gonna arrest you. <laughs> you're obviously you're like, trying to rob the uh, bank. <laughs> Sir, come with me. It's like I'd like to check my box. Yes. And it's like, ah, yes, what box? It's like all of them. <laughs> just like whip Wait, it you, <laughs> Why does it seem like you had a shotgun? Is that <laughs> in your hat? Is the shotgun in your no. hat? No. <laughs> You have one. Remember the fancy suit? <laughs> Do you remember the fancy suit? Oh, the fancy suit. Oh, gosh. 
But yeah, so masks are banned. All of the masks. Got you. Got you. All of the <laughs> no masks. more president face masks. Got no you. more Freddy versus Jason masks. Oh, no um, masquerades. That's they a just, different type of mask. It's still a mask. You just said it. Mm. Are they now raids? Mm. <laughs> no mask. <laughs> it's like, we used to be a I'm mask. I'm at a raid ball. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like, we used to be a masquerade. We were very fancy. But they made us take away masks, so now we're just a raid and very well, what hype. what they would do, they would do. <laughs> <laughs> That's a rave. <laughs> That's two different words. You're right. Masquerade. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Why is, is that, that the thing? actual word? That should no, be the word. Why? I know it's not. Why is people? That would be a great. It okay, would. another great idea that we've come Somebody up with. Somebody needs to have a party. A, a masquerade, masquerade party. A masquerade party. You have a mask and it's a rave. It's oh a masquerade Oh my gosh! You're ball, geniuses. But it's a rave. We're yes. geniuses. <laughs> Somebody plan this. <laughs> if I could just, if if there's a think tank out there that uh, <laughs> <laughs> this show, has, listen has to this job show. opportunities, please, please listen to this show. Please. Sign up on job opportunities. Anybody in Washington uh, hiring? Please, <laughs> please, D.C. Washington, D.C. Please let me know. Or in that specific area. Not too far from that area. Don't give me like some random place in Maryland, okay? <laughs> it's got to be close <laughs> to D.C. Just like, just hit me up online, okay? A Clark Kent type on Twitter. Thank you. Okay, my second point. Yes. You ready for this? Yes. Are you ready for this? <laughs> yes, what is it? Magicians. This is oh my favorite. Boy. One. This is my favorite. <laughs> one. Magicians would corner the birthday market, okay? Because clowns you can't have are a clown not allowed at the anymore. party. We banning clowns. So magicians are like, oh, we going full ham on this market. Everybody's getting a magician, okay? You get a magician. Yeah. You get a magician. But here's the thing. Each magician is probably going to have an extra thing because with so many magicians, you got to set yourself apart, okay? Right. Are you a fancy magician? Are you just a simple magician? Are you a comedian magician? Or are you a Are you magician? a daredevil magician? Yeah, ma- exactly. A daredevil magician? I don't know how that's going to work at a birthday party. How big is your house? You're going to have to have mm-hmm. a lot of space. Outside. Again, how big is your... You have to have a lot of space. For a daredevil magician? Yeah. I mean, David Blaine can't just be like... I'm going to jump off this thing. Ready? Bam. I'm not dead. Lame. <laughs> I could jump off the roof. I mean, I've done Can that. Can you levitate off our roof? Ah, uh, I don't know about that. That's the thing. What about petting zoos? Those aren't a thing? Petting zoos? Yeah, people run petting zoos. They bring petting zoos, but that's not the main attraction. That's like a side thing. You got to have a main I you. MC so like, person coming in. I would just see, like, if I if I did this, if I did birthdays and all that, I would do activities. So we would Lame. have. No, 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 no. I'd have a bounce house. I'd have. Those are all side things. You need a person who has a show. Who's your show? Mm. Come on, Mossy. Who's the main person? Usually they got a clown. They got SpongeBob. They got Aladdin. They got somebody. Who are you? Oh, my gosh. What about the uh, big, big furry people? The, uh, they're not furries. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's what I meant. The, uh, don't look at me like You're bringing furries to a furries, child's no. birthday? This yes, if they like dogs, but no. Um, strange, Marcy. Um, what are they called? The uh, furries. Yes. Big, no, not the furries. Bring they're your furries. No, they're the SpongeBob Patrick. Uh, mascots. Yes, the That's mascots. That's what I literally just said. SpongeBob, Aladdin. Those are mascots. Aladdin isn't a mascot. He would be an impersonator. He'd be a mascot. You can the have a genie mascot. Aladdin. would be the mascot. Why would you have a mascot, Aladdin? I can't have a full suit of Aladdin. This is a person. Arabian Night. <laughs> But what if I am a passionate Hispanic man, okay? Okay. And they want an authentic Arabian prince, okay? But I really love me some Aladdin. I gotta get a I gotta get a, a suit to to impar- to be him. So I gotta get inside. No, a suit. you just change. No, your they hair. know. They know. They know. And that's called appropriation. Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is your last point. <laughs> You're like, and that's got appropriation. Yeah. Okay, my last point is that there are no nicknames. Yes. I don't get what this is. You don't? No. Okay. Joker? You mean his real name? Yes. Arthur Fleck? Yeah. So Sasha no Fierce is gone? Yes. She's Beyonce. Oh, Bonsé, why? Bonsé, just Bonsé. Oh, what's Diddy's name? Sean. Um, Sean Combs, remember he's so Sean. So all Diddy rappers Combs. have to go by their real name. Yeah, but that's not that's not nicknames. That's their stage name. Well, in in the in the what is this the uh, the thing you watch TV? No, A computer? No, movie? Trailer? Wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so in the trailer, he was like, "Hey, 
before you like before you go out, can you announce me as Joker? And that became his stage name. Mm-hmm, gotcha. Right. So even though he still had his regular name, what they knew him as on stage was the Joker or Joker. Right. So Beyonce, even though that's what, let's not go Beyonce. Um, Kanye West. Chance the Rapper. Push it. To yes. Chance the Rapper. So Chance the Rapper. His name is Childish Gambino. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wrong person! Oh my goodness! I apologize. No, I don't apologize. You should apologize. No, I did that on purpose. I don't think you did. That I won't believe that for the rest of my His life. Chance the rapper is Donald Glover. <laughs> That's wrong. Hold on. That's why I know you didn't do it on purpose. No, wait. I know who these people are. No, don't I think know you the difference between the people. I don't think Because one is in the show Atlanta, and he did the, 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 the Spider-Man. And then there's the other one who's got the, uh, <laughs> I know the song. He sits there, and he's got, like, a really nice smile. He's got a cap. He's got hair that sits out the cap. He's got it was on the album cover, and it's a pinkish fade, like the Instagram default picture. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I know the difference between these men. He just makes it up twice. No. <laughs> Cause the one I'm thinking of, that's the actor. He's the one that he had that uh music video that you showed me and it was like everything dealt with the same thing. It was like everything was white or something like that. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about, David. Don't do this. <laughs> so So you've got that. Just and then to clarify. <laughs> I know who they are. Sure you do. I know. Chance the Rapper <laughs> is a rapper slash activist. I uh, believe yeah. he's from Chicago. He wears a number three hat. Yes. He looks like Kent Bazemore. <laughs> For those who don't know who that is. Uh, but yes. Also, uh, you have Childish Gambino. Yes. Whose real name is Donald Clover. Yes. He is a writer slash comedian slash actor and rapper name is Childish Gambino. He made the show Atlanta. Yes. There you go. I know who these sure people are. Do. I told you. You heard it in my description. No. You heard it. No, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. But okay. But yes, Donald Glover is going by Donald Glover. Jesus. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not as Childish Gambino. Jesus. Uh, uh, moving on. <laughs> Either way, no nicknames because the Joker's name, even though Alfred, whatever it was, yes. So Fleck, yes, Fleck. So Mr. Fleck, instead of being Fleck, I mean, instead of being the Joker, he would go by whatever Fleck, right? So that's him. Everybody goes by their fa- their first name because, like, um, there's a clown registry, yes. And so, yes. And so all clowns have to be registered into oh, the clown registry. Yes. I heard con registry. No, I was confused. <laughs> so clown, yes. clown registry. If yes. you want to be an official clown mm-hmm. to be hired and all the blah, blah, blah. But he's not. An official. No, 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 no. But I'm just saying. Right. So like that. He's just- in the room. <laughs> this is not official. <laughs> <laughs> this is not in my registrar. <laughs> he hasn't gotten his papers. <laughs> 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 oh god jim i don't think he's a real clown calm down <laughs> he's not taking anybody's birthday party. he's got my makeup on <laughs> but yes each clown has a signature thing so like for the joker his would be green hair big white smile and the white face in the no okay fine is that not a signature no. are you saying all clowns have yeah a white uh, face? usually all clowns have white face okay they usually paint their face white unless they are Racist. Just going with whatever Those they have. Racist. No, Can we please some... stop the white faces out here? <laughs> <laughs> white people. <laughs> Shame on you. Okay. Stop. Embrace this. your own skin. Stop this racism, guys. <laughs> Embrace your the white face. The white faces have got to go. Embrace your white face. Why are you, you doing white, white, white face? face? Yes. Stop being <laughs> white face, people. Love who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, each clown has a trademark thing. So his would be the straight green hair and... The big red smile and the white face and the blue eye markings, right? That's the Joker. So everything is registered. So because of this, no nicknames, nothing. Because Bobo the Clown is registered as Bobo the Clown. I Pity the Fool is registered as I Pity the Fool. The Joker is registered as the Joker. So all these nicknames are gone. No one goes by nicknames. Nobody has any more nicknames. It is all just your first name or your actual name. Music is going to be boring. Yes, because there's a lot of Steves out there. What? 
what mikes and steves and i just meant famous people yeah who are singers yeah and rappers oh my god i don't know any steves so like marshmallow like we actually found out who he is what is his first name Mm. but it's not steve Mm -hmm. brian probably not yeah it might be calvin i wonder what the weekend's name is Mm. leonard (laughs) (laughs) did you say lunar yeah (laughs) something like that i don't know Mm. um but oh that'd be weird to hear aubrey graham do you know that is Mm -hmm. aubrey I know Lucas Graham. No, Aubrey. I know Andy Grammer. Aubrey. No, I don't know who Aubrey Graham is. Rapper. Let's do a guessing game. One of the biggest rappers right now. Oh, the brat? That was wrong. <laughs> it's a man. <laughs> <laughs> wait! You oh, read Drake! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I said one of the biggest rappers now. You I said know. the I know. brat? <laughs> Look. Have you been watching the rap <laughs> game and they've lied to you? <laughs> as, soon as, as soon as it left my mouth, I was like, "That's definitely wrong." The brat again. Nothing it, against the brat. I'm just no. saying, as the biggest rappers now, again. The brat. It left my mouth, and I was like, "That's definitely wrong." But yes, Aubrey is Drake. Of all names, to pick. <laughs> of all names, all know. names ever. I have no idea why. I all names. I'm trying to think of an old rapper. That's like mm-hmm. if I was like, "Dude, you heard that new." That by the biggest rapper ever, someone was like, "Oh, Ja Rule." I'd be like, "Wait, what? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me right now?" <laughs> wow. Can you go to gospel like country gospel? No, no, <laughs> no. Was that Nelly? stop? Stop it! Who all. went to gospel? No one. Someone, one of them went to gospel, and then no. another one went to country. No, stop it! Stop! <laughs> Just stop. It. But I don't. I You're honestly, mixing stories, okay? I honestly Nelly am, made a country song with a country artist. That is all. He didn't go there. I'm not. <laughs> he didn't saying become a Nelly. country rapper. Oh God. No. Either way. No. <laughs> no. We're moving on. To I my don't part. know how he came, how that name came we're out, moving, but I know that Aubrey is Drake. Yes, that's on. your last point. Oh wow! Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> What's your last point? Uh, my last point is my least favorite point. It's not even a favorite. I just dislike it. Mm. My last point is illegal Batmans joining up to fight the legal <laughs> Joker followers. <laughs> because in the trailer, which is in the movie, there's a bunch of people that follow the Joker and put on masks and stuff and have on paint and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. They were like, we want to be your followers. Woo! We are well, you. You got to have some Batmans out there. So mm. people are like, we're going to be like Batman, except... Jokers are more close to being like Joker because he just has a twisted mind and a different intellect to do certain things. Right. But those people are regular people. Batman has money, so Lots of money. he uses it to have gadgets and stuff. Regular people won't have those things, so I don't know what they're going to do. <laughs> I guess they have like <laughs> knives and stuff. Duct and tape knives they won't and a bunch of ingen- guns because ingen- ingen- he doesn't ingen- use guns. Uh, so that'll be interesting, but yeah, imagine just bunches of armies of Batmans and Jokers fighting each other, and that's my last point. I see why you were not a fan of yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all, but <laughs> it was hard to come out point. with a third point, so that's what I got. There you go. Anyway, moving on, let's say, Marcy, yes. people don't go see this amazing movie. What movie do you suggest to go see in their free time? So my movie suggestion, if you do not go see this movie, is Deadpool. Is that because of Zazzy Beats? Oh, wait, no, you said Deadpool, not Deadpool 2. Okay, no, I guess. Continue. just the first one. I haven't seen the second one. It's not as good as the first one, but Zazzy Beats is in it, so, you know. It kind of just... Ah, it up. It's just amazing! All right. Wade Wilson is a former Special Forces operative who now works as a mercenary. His world comes crashing down when evil scientist Ajax tortures, disfigures, and transforms him into Deadpool. The rogue experiment leaves Deadpool with accelerated healing powers and a twisted sense of humor. With help from mutant allies, Colossus and Negasonic, Teenage Warhead. Woohoo! Love that name. <laughs> Deadpool uses his new skills to hunt down the man who nearly destroyed his life. Sidebar, didn't he already have the sense of comedy, like the sense of life? It's just like now like he can be raw about it because he's like, I have nothing to lose. Yeah, he already had it. It's just it was more toned it's down. More, no, it wasn't more toned down. Now he's more morbid about it. Mm, okay. Which I don't see how experiments would make you more jokey <laughs> i guess he's like you know what everything else has gone even to pot before something happened he was jokey so. right i guess maybe he's like everything else has gone to pot so maybe i just got to make the best of what i have even jokier i guess i don't know okay this movie stars ryan reynolds 
Brianna Hildebrand, and that's all the names I can pronounce. Great. Yes. Great movie. It is a really good movie. You should go see it. If you haven't seen it, enjoy it. But that's my movie suggestion. What is your movie suggestion, David? My movie suggestion is Batman Beyond the movie. Decades after the retirement of Bruce Wayne as Batman, a boy dons the identity to avenge his own father's murder. Yeah, it's an animation. It stars the guy from Boy Meets World, who's Eric, who plays the voice of Terry McGinnis. Terry? Uh, yeah. So basically what happens is he sneaks into Batman's lair and he steals a bat suit. And, what? Um, he accidentally gets into Batman's lair. Well, he gets into the house. But anyway. So he gets in the house and it just so happens to figure was, out how to get in. Oh, he gets to the house. He sees a bat in the clock. If you open up the clock, that's what leads down to the... The, the, mm. the layer. So he was like, oh, what's, oh you're, you're, you're just trapped. And he's like, how'd you get in here, little fella? And then he opens up. He doesn't sound like that, but I think he said those words. He opens it up, and then that causes the mechanism to open. And then he is it a down. real bat? This is an animation. What do you mean? Oh, is it a real bat in the clock? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a real bat in the clock. There are bats in the cave of his lair. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, uh, I really like this TV show. Uh, it was a movie. I mean, they made a movie. The first episode is kind of like a movie and then they made a tv show but i really enjoyed this animation i wish they could make it for real but they never probably will um it's the equivalent if they made like a futuristic oh you know what if they made spider-man into the spider-verse into a actual movie you see how they would probably never do that no this is the equivalent of that this would have to be an animation but no one would see it, so they'd have to make it real. I think it could succeed because people continually say, like, oh, well, no one knows who he is. It doesn't matter. If the movie's cool enough, people will go see it. That's just how stuff works. You don't have to always know who the character is. No one knew who the Guardians of the Galaxy were. Everyone went to see it. But anyway, that's my suggestion. So, Marcy, where can they find you online? You can find me on Twitter at Marcy underscore 119. You can also find me on Instagram at Marcy underscore 119. Come say hi. I'm nice. Where can we find you, David? You can find me on Twitter at a Clark Kent type. Shout out to the Mustang. You can find me on Instagram at another movie review where I review movies every day except Sunday. But that's the show, guys. Do me a big favor. Share, 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 share. Let others enjoy what you enjoy. Let them hear what you hear. Yep. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.